guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel! Now let's get into the video. Bruno Mars has made a lot of money due to his success in the music industry. And cars are one thing he likes to spend it on. In this video, we are taking a look inside Bruno Mars' impressive car collection. But first, make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 5. Cadillac Escalade This is the brand new Escalade, the 2021 edition. Now, look what happens when you open up. There are many cars worth buying over their performance, but the Cadillac brand has been known to expertly merge that with a sturdy design. This might be one of the reasons why Bruno Mars spent his hard-earned money on an Escalade. The model he has been seen driving around has a 6.2-liter engine and an impressive 6-speed transmission. The V8 engine enables the car to have 403 horsepower, but that didn't come cheap. It has been reported that Bruno Mars spent around $95,000 on this SUV. One thing that might have made it worth all that money is the stunning speaker system found inside the car. As a musician, he would no doubt appreciate listening to music in all its glory. What is quite crazy is you've still got all of this space here, and that's with all seven seats up. Number 4. Cadillac STS Cadillac STS. Up front is a 3.6 liter V6, and down below is a 5-speed automatic transmission. Bruno Mars has a deep love of the Cadillac brand, and that is evident from his ownership of more than one of their cars. This might not be a huge SUV, but it has its own great features that makes it a very powerful car to have. Starting with its V6 engine, it has an amazing 6-speed transmission, but that isn't as powerful as the Escalade. The maximum horsepower of this car is around 302, which can still make it go at extremely fast speeds. Another feature that is similar to the Escalade is the sound system which is the same Bose 5.1 studio sound. It has been estimated that it would cost somewhere between $72,000 and $92,000. This might not be a lot of money for someone like Bruno Mars, but it still makes this car extremely expensive. Like any other Cadillac, however, it has the same sturdy and mean design on the outside, but it seems like Bruno Mars enjoys that sort of design. Number 3. Rolls-Royce Phantom Today I have the new Rolls-Royce Phantom. Now it's been raining here in Frankfurt and one of the coolest features of Rolls-Royce is that they have an inbuilt umbrella in the car. Rolls-Royce is one of the best car manufacturers in the world and the Phantom model of theirs is said to be among the greatest luxury cars ever built. Bruno Mars has been known to be fond of the brand and he even had one in his Uptown Funk video. That video has over 4 billion views on YouTube, so it's a surprise that Rolls-Royce didn't just give him one of their cars as a thank you for that amount of advertising. It has been said that he paid around $300,000 for this luxurious piece of machinery. The Phantom has a 6.7 liter engine, which allows the car to have 453 horsepower. This has led to the car achieving a 0-60 to time of just 5.7 seconds. Given how much tech is inside the car, it is a miracle that it is able to accelerate this fast. It even has an air suspension and dampeners that make the ride as smooth as humanly possible. Number 2. Volkswagen Jetta We all have to start somewhere when it comes to cars, right? Well, as it turns out, Bruno has a similar story. Back when his career hadn't really taken off, he used to drive around in a Volkswagen Jetta. Given that it was his first car, it was in miserable condition. It has been reported that he had a single window in the car, which failed to roll back down in the summer months. Aside from that, there was nothing that could be thought of as a luxury inside the car, not even an AC. Number 1. Cadillac Alante It seems like there's no shortage of Cadillacs in Bruno Mars' garage. Another car in his possession that was made by the same brand is the Cadillac Alante, which might not be a name that many people are familiar with. The reason for this might be that this car could be considered vintage, given that none of them have been manufactured in the 21st century. That is not to say that this car has nothing going for it, because there has to be a reason for someone like Bruno Mars to buy it, right? Well, one of the main highlights of this car is the old-school two-door convertible design that is sure to resonate with a lot of buyers. The performance of this car is nothing to write home about, but it is still admirable for a car that was built in the 1990s. It has been known to sell for around $60,000 these days, which is relatively cheap when compared to the cars that he could have purchased with his millions. These were some of the cars in his impressive car collection. This is a good reminder that you don't need to spend millions of dollars for a good car. That brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you enjoyed the content, then do leave a like. So until next time, take care and goodbye.